Hey guys, what's up? Murder of Birdtail. Welcome back to the channel. So we are back with more Ruby with Volume 8, Chapter 10. This is going to be my reaction to it. And before we jump into the episode or any of my talking points, I just want to say I hope things are going a lot better for those of you who are affected by the Texas snowstorm or the general terrible weather conditions that were happening in the south parts of the United States, be it Rooster Teeth, Kruby, or, you know, any viewers or fans of mine. Um, I know that that was a big talking point last week for why this episode was delayed. It was supposed to come out last weekend. Some people were happy about it. Some people were in support of the delay to, to make sure that, you know, Kruby and everyone that was affected was um, was basically taking care of themselves and basically making sure that their livelihoods and their situation was being dealt with first before making sure production was tip top and everything was in order and, uh, you know, and underway for the Ruby schedule. So uh, again, I just hope everything is a lot better off for you guys. Um, but getting into this episode, man, this is the third act of the volume. A lot of things to that we still need to get. We still have this chapter and then four more chapters after this. I really don't know where that's going to leave a lot of points because on both sides, there's something to look forward to, right? On Team Ruby, you know, on Ruby, Weiss, and Blake's side, we have the aftermath of what happened to the Hound Grim. If any of them realized that that was actually a silver-eyed faunus that was within the Hound that 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 got killed, you know, because Ruby was looking at it, like, in horror, like, what the fuck? That was a person that was in there. So we could potentially get a reverse switch back because, you know, they gave us the Hound the previous week, and then the following week, they switched gears. But now that we have an even bigger cliffhanger of, like, Hazel going up against Salem, killing her over and over again like absolute badass absolute go of the volume like i really really think that hazel went down as like one of the best characters or rather one of the best antagonists of the volume all things considered we don't really know his fate but given the fact that he was like he was burning himself alive with salem and he told like oscar like do it it kind of seemed like a two for one blow like both of us are gonna die Hazel's death is going to be permanent. Salem is going to be temporary, but they're going to be able to buy time in this whole war affair um, before Salem is able to do something. Um, we don't know where Neo is. The relic is MIA along with Neo. Emerald has decided to join the protagonist as a means of just kind of getting out of there because everyone is scared of Salem. And ultimately, we don't know what happened. Um, you know, basically, we need to find out the aftermath of what happened between Oscar, Salem, and Hazel. So that was the big cliffhanger there. But the title of the episode is called Ultimatum with Ironwood in the thumbnail. And Ironwood has been pretty passive this volume for the most part. You know, he, he played a huge role, Volume 7. And uh, I think it's kind of time for him to have his moment, right? Crow and Robin are also no longer restricted in the prison cell. So I don't know if they're going to regain themselves and then take the fight to him because Crow has a really bad chip on his shoulder after what happened to Clover and blames Ironwood more so than his own actions or the actions of Tyrion even. And Tyrion's out of the picture, so, you know, fuck all what he, what's going to happen with him until, you know, volumes 9, volume 10, whatever. But there's just a lot of different things that are going on right now. Ironwood is most likely going to be a pivotal part of this volume. Maybe we're going to see some more drastic measures being taken between him, the Relic, Penny, Watts, the Relic's location as well, since Cinder has Watts with her, and they're obviously going to try to find out the location of it. But we don't really know what Ironwood's mental state is. Another thing really quick before we jump in about Ironwood. Remember he's half robot? Like, remember that big mystery of like, hey, I wonder why Ironwood's half robot. When you're out on the battlefield, your judgment can become clouded in an instant. Sometimes you see things that simply aren't there. Even after the fight has passed. I really feel like this is going to be Ironwood's final call. Like, his final curtain call of the series. I think he's someone that it's probably going to go down with his ship, go down with his kingdom, be killed in the process, or be killed off by whoever. We actually don't really know because he's kind of like an anti-hero at this point or it seems more so like that because he's being pushed further and further from his mentality especially with how his semblance works so i don't know if we're ever gonna are we gonna learn about uh, about about ironwood's past about how he became half robot how he became the headmaster of the academy or anything regarding that because i feel like there's still a lot more to tell with ironwood if they are planning on killing him off this volume because it seems like that is a very active possibility every headmaster has died at their former schools ospin died at beacon lionheart died at mistral i really do expect ironwood to die at atlas and theodore to die at at shade when we whenever we end up getting there but there's a lot of different things to go down with this episode it's 18 minutes long so i'm not going to leave any more room for talking and and rambling and all that stuff all i just want to say is thank you guys all so much for the support i'm really looking forward to where we're going to pick up it's either going to be the aftermath of what happened to the hound the aftermath of what happened to to, to salem hazel and oscar 
or we're going to get a third party perspective of whatever Ironwood, what's going on with Ironwood, maybe Cinder and Watts, um, you know, or anything like that. But before we jump into all of that, I want to give an extra special thank you to everybody over on patreon.com forward slash murder of birds for your kindness, your generosity, uh, your patience and support of these Ruby videos and all of the other content that I've been trying to put out. And an extra special thank you goes to the guys and gals in the Wizard of Remnant tier and higher. That being Ezra Lee, Ian Dodd, Jets Unleashed, Juberski, Kiva Bodaway, Michael, Ryan Zandez, Wolven Republic, Zombie Killer 451, Desmo, Jamie Coleman, Matthew Trapp, and Ryan Skelton. They Thank you guys all so much as always leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and without further ado let us begin all right guys so we're gonna be jumping into ruby volume 8 with chapter 10 titled ultimatum as the fog of war covers the kingdom atlas nears its breaking point 18 minutes 50 seconds a lot of shit that can happen this volume from a bunch of different perspectives or rather this chapter from a bunch of different perspectives and um we still have four chapters after this so with all that said thank you guys all so much for the support as always leave your thoughts in the comments down below and we're gonna be starting this in three two one now oh what the hell uh warning this content contains flashing lights that may potentially affect photosensitive viewers viewer discretion is advised oh it's gonna be like some some psychedelic freaking rave going on what the hell what could that mean interesting okay well at least they gave the warning for those affected that's good all right here we go <clears throat> we said goodbye to all the things we loved gave up our lives just to find that it was not enough we laughed in faith left our solitude our carefree peace what we thought would change the world was just a childish dream. We failed to stop our own demise, the tragic ends before our eyes. Hope has no place here. Maybe the path that leads our way home will finally clear. Maybe the end we try to avoid is already here. Some roses will never bloom. <clears throat> Some dreams will rot on the vine. Some lives will end much too soon. Some evil will never ever die. Some wars will not end in peace. Some heroes choose the wrong side. Sometimes it's worth it all to risk the fall and fight for a free life. Let's go. Fuck, what's going to happen? They even gave a warning at the beginning. So unless it's like some strobe lights going off, I don't... Iron Wood! Fuck! <laughs> Holy shit, he looks pissed off sir we have confirmation that dr watson escaped to headquarters to do assistance to cinderfall that's not good we do have jacques schnee the look at them they look so scared about jacques schnee what about the other two you hear this music sir bronwyn and hill have evaded capture oh bro what the fuck <laughs> Yo! The murder of birds! Yo! Damn it! Did Crow just kill that guard? Search everywhere for them. This Do is not insane. Return to this office until you have Crow Bronwyn in custody. Oh, I remember that. Of course, sir. The officer lady. She's like the cameo background character this volume. Yeah, Ironwood is losing it. Look at him shaking. What's the status of our? <gasps> What? What the fuck just happened? Was that Ozpin? Is that? Whoa! What? Did he just fucking nuke the? Did he really just nuke Salem? Oh. I guess that's what the photo light thing was. What the fuck did this man just do? If that used magic, that's gonna accept. <laughs> oh my fucking god! Neo! Alright, she didn't do that. 
Was that us? <sighs> they didn't even use the bomb yet! Is everyone alright? No injuries here. What? Oh, okay. That makes sense. Big explosion. They were still inside. No, they, they got... I think they got out. <gasps> Holy fuck, dude. Holy shit! Those are its ribs! That wasn't the bomb, though. Target destroyed. Good work. But no time to celebrate. That wasn't them, Return was it? Academy at once. We've got a new problem. But exactly, it I was like, "What the fuck?" He doesn't know that though. Then we can tell him in person. Holy shit, Ozpin! What the fuck is in that relic, dude? That had to have taken an immense amount of magic to the point where I think it accelerated the transfer. But what happened? What happened to Oscar? Did did anyone respond? No. Holy fuck. She's not well, dead though. Yeah, exactly. She'll come back. Yeah, she always does. In the interim, we need a plan. Holy fuck. Plan. It's only them the two. Plan hasn't changed. I'm going I to really the like this. I really like the lighting now because, because of the explosion. You were going to bring her to me. Yeah, Watt has the br has the pardon. maiden. You said in your message that you have control over Penny. I said <laughs> I had Penny under control. Not, not that under I could my telekinetically force her to do whatever <laughs> I want. Uh, I mean, she has what? remote hacking. I implanted a virus in her <laughs> dimwit. <laughs> Don't call her a dimwit, dude. Now. The last person Which you wanna. She should be. As much as I hate to admit it, there seems to be some part of her capable of resisting. Yeah. Regardless, She's got a soul. It's only a matter of time She's not all machine. She succumbs to the virus. <sighs> she'll open the vault, then she'll destroy herself, and our little penny problem will be. Over. Whoa! What do you mean she'll destroy herself? The, the How am I supposed to take her power if she's dead? You That's know, true. Impressive that you haven't realized this yet, but I don't work for you. True. Yo, you, yeah. What are you gonna? You, you're really gonna kill what? You can't just threaten me like everyone else. You think you're so clever, don't you, Arthur? I mean, he's, he is pretty. He's pretty smart. Salem isn't here right now. Okay. But I think we can still come up with a. Plan Damn, there, there's the sabotage from the inside is already happening. Salem's going. Cinder's going rogue. First, I'm gonna watch you plummet to an unremarkable end. And then I'm going to burn a path directly to the vault, where I will wait to tear that magical puppet. Come on, you pieces. can't do Watts dirty like that. He and still has a. What is mine? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yo, do it. Have fun. <laughs> oh, of course you are. Salem's gonna because find that's you. Just what you do, isn't it? How He's like, do it! Works out Fucking do it! You stormed into Freya's room thinking you could take on Ironwood's top fighter and war machine. Mm -hmm. But you couldn't. Ooh! Watts, talk to her, oh, dude! And let's not forget your deal with Raven <laughs> You lose every fight! All you lose everything, Cinder! You don't learn! Oh, someone could have warned you against such a miserable That idea. Watts did! <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> I did! <laughs> But you pushed ahead, and you lost it when all you had to yeah. do was your job. Yeah, true. You think you're to everything just Watch is about to die right now. But suffering isn't enough. Can't just be strong. You have to be smart. Can't just be <laughs> deserving. You have to be worthy. Tell him. Yes. You you're gonna kill him. She's gonna kill him. <laughs> okay, she didn't kill him. He's right though. I'm fucking sweating right now. Jesus Christ. Yo, yo, really quick pause. Watch, just, like, absolutely spit straight facts. Like, I don't think I've ever heard a character in this show tell it more like it was than Watts right there to Cinder. Because I think that's what the fandom has been saying about her since the very beginning. She does everything and she doesn't think. She wants everything, but she doesn't earn it. She just feels like... It's mine. I want it. I don't care how I get it. I'm just going to go for it. He mentioned, I love the fact that he just fucking meticulously broke that shit down. He's like, you lost against Raven. You lost against Winter. You lost against Penny when you went back the second time. You lost twice. And you don't learn. You don't listen. It's not enough about wanting. You have to earn it. You have to work for that bread. And Watts is... I fucking love Watts, dude. I, I fucking love Watts, dude. I'm so glad she didn't kill him.
Watts, you, I, you, you, fuck, man. Thank you. <gasps> what? The fuck? Cinder showing emotion? Yeah, I mean, when you get... Blake? Yang, are you okay? Where are you? Yeah. When you get We're roasted fine. that bad, I guess all you gotta do is, is break down. Right? Oh, Oscar is okay! Alive. What the fuck did you do, kid? Help, though. Guys, they're okay. What do we do about her? Jesus. Oh, I hear Ruby in the background. Hazel? <sighs> Hazel is nothing but ash. You're in the agricultural area. Just head to this access point to reach the red line subway. Someone channel, cared about you, Emerald. Learn. Yeah. Think oh, about how what Hazel ha did for you and what Sa Cinder has serious. done for you. You want us to work with her? I'm just saying it makes the most <laughs> sense. We're all enemies of Salem, including her. <laughs> I'm, no, a, I'm, I'm a victim. You don't like me. I don't like you. So how about we just part ways and you never have to see me again? You're not going But you're anywhere. still the enemy. You're still going to be working against them. We can't let all of our actions stem from fear. If she could help us, I think we should consider it. She hmm. is part of the reason I have this. She's I'm not part of the reason Pyrrha is gone. Forgive her. Everything that happened at Beacon. She lied to us. Tricked us. Oh. She is dangerous. Purple. You don't have to forgive her. What purple her. petals mean? You have every reason to feel that way. Exactly. Just maybe. Second chance. Second chance. We've already gotten quite a bit of help today from Oscar, someone. Oscar, did you literally just nuke exactly the fucking me. whale in Salem and Name Hazel Austin. and... Oz, he's back! I had a feeling. Oh wait, wait what? Back? He can I sense how you Ozpin? Feel, He saved my life. <laughs> when we were tortured, he took it. So I wouldn't have to. Wow. And he used the relic. He entrusted me with this. Hence the massive amount of power he had <laughs> Fucking up nuke levels of power. Kinetic energy that he spent lifetime after lifetime accumulating in the cane he Ooh. built. Thousands of so years of power! That's how you did that? Using all of the stored up power. Not all of it. Not all. Yeah. Most. Okay, most. So, so more we than have 50%. To be careful with how we use the rest. Let's say let's say 40% for you the sake of my math. Judgment, and it saved us. I want to reciprocate that trust. There's Jesus. a lot to sort out. Yo! Boss really wants to help. This is a really good episode so far. What's popped off, Thank though? You, Oscar. Hey, look at that. Speaking for him. Is that a crying baby? Oh, shit. My eyes. No wonder they gave a photo sensitive warning. Oh, everyone go underground. Okay, that makes sense. You better hope a train isn't on its way, or all of you guys are fucked. Or all oh, the people at the bottom. Yeah. I really hope there's no subterranean grim. That's all I'm gonna say. I mean, there are, but I. Oh boy. I've seen what you can do, Emerald. You're broken. However, this fight ends. <laughs> You're busted. We could really use. Some yes, idea. we can. Holy shit, Em. Meanwhile, damn, we're halfway done. Fuck. Huh? Oh, it's about time. That was in the While trailer we dealt too. While decisive blow to Salem today. It, we, Actually, that, that wasn't was us. Payload, that wasn't it. I brought it back with us. What the fuck was that then? Exactly. <laughs> Ozpin. 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 But you still have it. Uh oh. This may be useful. Are you serious? Penny still hasn't come to the vault, meaning Watts was either incompetent or he betrayed us. At this point, we'll never know. Whoop de fucking do! Betray you? He was never on your side! And escape with him. And that's not all we've lost. Shit. Sir? You've lost your Pro fucking Robin mind. I've also escaped. <clears throat> Chill. Chill. Salem's creature was destroyed. But that doesn't mean we've stopped her. She'll come back. She will return, and she will throw everything she has at us until there is nothing left i wonder and how long she's gonna be gone for close to that already i need the winter maiden now it's the only way at oh can survive. this is their second attempt to get into the sky i think that's what he's implying she, bring me ark ren and shalom oh fuck what for oh sir? fuck you let them I free had in my hands 
and I didn't do what needed to be done. I will not make that mistake again. She let them go. She let them go. That's gonna push him. That's gonna I push wish she him. Of it earlier. Leveraging the lives of her friends. It's the only way to make Penny listen to reason. No! What the fuck is wrong Sarah, with you, dude? I'm sorry, but we don't have them. <laughs> Operative Snee, let them go. Fuck off. That's a l that's a what? even less Winter trust. Allowed them to go on even the less to trust. Friend, and they never came back. For all we know, they blew up. He doesn't trust anybody. He can't trust his right hand. He can't trust Team Ruby. They were our last chance. And now, now I have nothing. <laughs> Sir, we are detecting non-military ships on radar. Doesn't Jesus, man. Other kingdoms. The other kingdoms, I think, are coming to help. They're coming to help. They appear to be Schnee Dust Company freighters, sir. Oh, the, the, the order They're from Oscar. Uh, from, from Whitley. Never mind. Fuck, man. Weiss. I see. They're trying to save Mantle. What are you doing, dude? You're so fucking gone. This has always been about Mantle, hasn't it? So what, you're gonna leverage Mantle against them? I need to make a call. He better not use that fucking bomb on Mantle to be like, all right, there's nothing there now. Now you can help Atlas. This man's fucking gone, dude. Your boss won't stay alive, but you will without this. But will you without this? Damn. Who is it? <laughs> it's like a selfie. Someone survive? If you want her name, you know what you owe me. What's that all about? Another song! Yo! When I see your face and feel Aww. I miss you too. Let's go. Wise! <laughs> ah, save the best one for last. <laughs> Where's Nora? <clears throat> She's taking a little nap. Yo, is anyone gonna mention the hound? Oscar, you. Oh, yeah, about that. <sighs> no, she's okay. I can. Chill. Is he calling? Kids, the cargo ship she said just made it, but they're not alone. May? What are you talking Wait, about? Wait, what's Ironwood doing now? What is he doing? Were those? This is an emergency CCT broadcast. What the fuck are you? Whoa, that's kind of cool. An announcement by Jenna. Bro, really? You're so fucking petty, bro. What's going on? Those ships. They're trying to help people. To people. I have always promised to defend this kingdom. Yeah, about its technology, that. It's technology. It's future. Oh, fuck me. From those who would see it destroyed. <laughs> You're destroying it yourself. Our enemy is crippled, but one individual still denies Atlas its salvation. Ruby Rose. The protector of Oh, Manta. Penny. Never mind. I thought he was going to turn it on Ruby. Penny, <clears throat> wherever you and your friends are, I need you all to listen. I know how much Mantle means He's all you, grayed out, but his so eyes. So I'm going to give you a choice. An ultimatum! You can bring yourself to Atlas Academy and do your duty. Help me save as much of Atlas as I can. <laughs> and Mantle will be left to fend for itself. Or... You can watch... You can all watch as I destroy it. <clears throat> wow. You're fucking nuts. I have... one bomb. <laughs> That's all it will take. If You're no fucking no insane. To work with me. You are insane. Neither of us wanted to come to that. But one of us is willing to do it. If anyone tries anything other than what I've ordered, Mantle <gasps> is gone. You have one hour to respond. Wow. One fucking hour. I hope you live up to the title I gave you. 
I knew it. I was like, he's gonna redirect that. I was like, there's no fucking way he would do that. How petty do you have to be to be like, oh, if they're still focused on Mantle, I just gotta get rid of Mantle and then it's all Atlas. I cannot believe this. <laughs> now they have to kill Ironwood. Because it's the need of the many over the need of the few. You kill one, you save a thousand. I cannot believe this. This was a really immersive episode. Holy fuck. Watts. MVP Watts. Telling it like it is. Telling, telling Cinder what the whole fandom has been saying about her for ages. Ironwood officially villain status. Like, I'm going to kill everybody at Mantle. It's like, that's not gonna fix anything. All it's gonna do, like, okay, let's just say you kill all of Mantle, then what? You think anyone's gonna wanna follow you, believe in you, help you out after you do some petty shit? That's insane. That's, that's actually ridiculous that he's willing to kill thousands of people, become the very thing he swore to protect them from. He's never cared about Mantle. At this point, it's literally about, it's my way or no way. You do what I want, or I'm gonna kill off everybody. That's the only way that I'm gonna get what I want. I'm not gonna listen to reason. I'm not gonna listen to any other opinions, any other perspectives, because my semblance doesn't allow me. He's probably a slave to his semblance at this point. Let's be real. Crow and Robin probably are gonna make their way to him. Penny's not even awake yet, and she's compromised. So like, bringing pet so this is how it's gonna happen this is literally what's gonna happen they're gonna bring penny back because obviously they're not gonna want mantle to be destroyed but penny is already compromised she's already hacked so watts and cinder are going to follow penny and follow them to at to, uh, to atlas to, to ironwood she's gonna be she's going to the, he, he's gonna open the she's gonna open the relic and then like corrupt penny's gonna take over she's gonna take the relic out and all shit's gonna break loose. Cinder's gonna get into it. At that point, Salem might be back. They have one hour to decide. Four chapters left. I cannot believe this. <laughs> Holy shit. I cannot believe Ironwood, man. Look at him. Look at, I love what they did here. I love how he's just shaded in black. You know, his, his, his like shades of like black, white, and gray, and his eyes are the only color that you see. We'll see it destroyed. It's just the very little left Our of humanity purple, that he has. But one individual still denies Atlas its salvation. That's insane. And the people the of Atlas are probably cool mantle. with that too. They're like, up. Oh, it's either and Atlas or Mantle. It's either all of us. Your friends are. I need you all to listen. It's either some of us or all of us. I know how much Mantle means to you. No, you don't. So I'm going to give you a choice. No, you don't. I know how much Mantle means to you, so I'm gonna kill off Mantle unless you do what I say. Are you fucking kidding me, James? This is what happens when he's pushed to the brink. You can bring Now he's bargaining. Now he's literally like, he's holding them hostage. Like he's that like, I'm gonna family. actually kill people because I'm good. I'm Help willing to do it. I don't have a conscience. I don't have a heart. I can do that shit. For itself. I can't believe that. Either give me the relic, we're gonna dip out of here, and let's go back to original plan A or plan B. We're gonna kill Mantle, and I'm gonna be a petty bitch because Salem's gonna come back, and if Atlas is going down, Mantle's going down with us. You can all watch. But what he doesn't know is that when the relic is taken, Atlas is gonna fall onto Mantle, and everyone dies regardless. Destroyed. I can't believe that shit. I have. <laughs> One bomb. I knew I fucking knew he was gonna redirect that bomb. If there is no mantle, then there is no reason for you not to work with Yep, me. exactly. There it is. Neither of us wanted to come to that. But one of us Why the fuck do you think they would ever work with you if Mantle's not gone? If Mantle's gone. Like, you're a fucking monster so at that point. If anyone tries anything <laughs> other than what I've ordered, Mantle Crow, Robin is gone. Yeah, you have one hour. You have one hour to respond. I hope you live up to the title I gave you. Protector of Mantle. Yeah. She has to protect Mantle from you. Either way, she's the protector of Mantle. You're threatening to kill the people of Mantle unless you get what you want.
So why wouldn't Penny protect them from you? I can actually see a Penny versus Ironwood fight now. A Penny versus Ironwood, Crow versus Ironwood, even Winter at this point. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Knowing that her sister is down in Mantle with them too, or is trying to help the people of Mantle along with them? I don't know, man. That's insane. They, Ironwood is fucking fucked, dude. Four chapters left. That whole relic thing. I mean, the cane blowing, like, nuclear levels of, 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 a, of power. So, yeah, Hazel is gone. That's so unfortunate, man. Salem isn't gonna... Salem isn't going to be gone for long. A couple of hours, so... Up to the point of the ultimatum. So, the what I think might happen... I think what could possibly happen is that they will pretend to go through with it. They'll be like, all right, Ironwood, you win. There's no way we're going to sacrifice the lives of Mantle, um, you know, for what you've ordered. I think they're just going to give Penny to Ironwood just to get close and then try something. Because who's going to initiate the bomb? You know what I mean? Are the Aesops really going to do it? Is Winter really going to do it? You know, unless he's going to give that to someone else because at this point he can't trust Winter. Fuck, man, what a great chapter. Holy shit, this was a really, really good one. Um, this is going to be very interesting uh, for the discussion. Uh, I, d I definitely want to hear how a lot of people feel about Ironwood's uh, mentality at this point, his decision-making or lack thereof to where he's just coming down to either I get what I want or you lose what you want. So, yeah, that's a really great chapter. I really liked it. A lot of great points. I loved the um, the color scheme of the of the episode just because, like, they nuked the whale and it just turned into, like, this yellowish hue of a background. Watts' scene was by far, by far the best part of the chapter. By far. Like, to the point where fucking Cinder started crying. But, like, obviously, thinking on herself, she she's failed at every turn. At every turn, at every point, she's always come up short. And uh, she's never thought critically about her decision making. She just literally is just like runs in guns blazing, shoots first, asks questions never, and uh, is always wondering why she doesn't get the things that she wants or why she always fails. It's because you're an idiot. Like you're not smart. You're you're. I don't know. I, I just loved Watts' performance. I'm glad she didn't kill him there because I literally thought she was just gonna like burn his ass. I thought she. I thought she was gonna incinerate him like like she did Pira. But God forbid. God forbid she does anything like that because, I mean, Salem would figure it out or Salem would uh, would have a, a bone to pick with her. But with all that said, this was a great chapter. I really, really enjoyed it. There's four chapters left. 11, 12, the penultimate 13, and the finale 14 of what happens by the end. Uh, Ironwood is public enemy number one at this point, which is pretty fucking ridiculous. But at the same time, I, I felt like it was always going to come to that. You know, he's the he's the heartless tin man at this point. And um, someone needs to take him down because if they don't and he gets what he wants, they're going to be lives lost no matter what. And at this point, I honestly think at this point, Ozpin needs to smack some sense into him. Fuck it. Bring Oscar back. Be like, yo, bitch, I survived. You thought you killed me, but, you know, I'm still alive. Anyways, um, this is a great chapter. I really liked it. I hope you guys did as well. Of course, as always, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But damn, what a good chapter that was. I really, really liked it. I hope you guys did too. But you know what I like more than this chapter? All the kindness, generosity, and support that you guys show me over on patreon.com forward slash murder of birds. More specifically, the guys and gals in the seasonal maiden tier and higher. That being Amy Burgess, AJ Kelly, Blue Rat 138, Chaz Lazration, Even Poppy, Flippers, Greg Mayernick, Jack Vargas, Joe. Joseph Anthony, June, Luke Marshall, Pigeon Power, Ride the Lightning, Scott Porter, The Disturbed Guy, Tiny Bird Programmer, Travis Ray, Triggered Fiend, Vera Ohio, Diesel 75, Zach Feifel, Ezra Lee, Ian Dodd, Jets Unleashed, Juberski, Kiba Bodaway, Ryan Zandez, Wolven Republic, Zombie Killer 451, Desmo, Jamie Coleman, Matthew Trapp, and Ryan Skelton. Thank you guys all so much for the continued support throughout Ruby Volume 8. I really hope you guys enjoyed this early access reaction as well. Um, and as always, thank you guys so much for the support, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Take care.